Ew, don't look at my nails, they're nasty. It just makes my ovaries shrivel out. Like a dried up raisin. I'm just gonna tap this. Wow. Let's do a quick test. The Sahara Desert, but quenched. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna be trying out some viral TikTok makeup products. I can't tell you how excited I've been about this video. I've had these products laying by me on my desk and I've just been looking at them. I've even tried some of them on my hand and like give them a little sniff sniff, you know. I thought it'd be good to use daylight for today's video so it will change a bit, but do you know what? It's actually looking okay, like this is, this is how pale I am. Oh my God, look at the chest. Oh my God. This is like the palest I've ever been. I don't even know what the outside world is at this point. Oh yeah, we're gonna try some products that I've seen all over TikTok. Some, not so much, but I still wanted to include it in this video because they're new. Before we jump into today's video, I'm gonna do our post notification shout out and today's one's gonna go to Nasima Kisten. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. I really appreciate it. If you guys wanna get a shout out next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment. Are we feeling the little yellow cute cardigan? Obviously the first product that we have here is the NYX the marshmallow primer ew don't look at my nails they're nasty I got a pale yellow I don't know why I'm obsessed with like baby yellow um, but I'm gonna do pale yellow for my next gel color this has been oh my god everywhere on TikTok on YouTube you can get this from boots or super drugs it's 15 pounds you get 30 mil in here which is actually quite a lot and it says here um, use it alone or with foundation and I'm not gonna lie, this smells amazing. This is a product I could genuinely, genuinely taste. <laughs> not that you're supposed to be eating makeup, but like I literally wanna eat this stuff. But this feels really, really nice. I haven't put up my face yet, but legit smells like marshmallow. Got a little bit of tackiness to it. I don't know why you would wear it alone to be honest but it's hydrating so i really like this because i have really dry skin we're gonna put this whole face to the test so we're gonna see if we see a difference oh my god the next item we have is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in a powder the only shade i could find guys was the shade 200 i think i'm like 260 or 240 but i couldn't get it anywhere but Given the fact that I'm like really, really pale right now, I thought, do you know what? It could work. This is called Golden Sand. Do you know what? It's actually blending into my hand pretty well. So I think, I think for my shade right now, it's gonna work. Guys, when it comes to powder foundation, I just prefer to use a kind of like Kabuki style foundation brush. Um, this one's by Bobbi Brown. It's their full coverage face brush. I, I used to always use this on customers when I was applying the, the powder foundation. It's just, for me, the best way to apply it. Now, I hate, I hate this sponge that comes in powder foundations. Oh my God. The thought of applying my foundation with this dainty little sponge just makes my ovaries shrivel up. Like a dried up raisin. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my brush. Ooh, it's actually quite pigmented, you know. There's a lot on there. I'm gonna just tap off the... I'm gonna tap off the excess. It's actually showing up a little bit darker on me. I'm not gonna lie, the lighting's not that great, but you can see my skin as it is, you know. Do you know what, it's slightly just ever so slightly on the pinky side. I'm not gonna put too much. Hopefully with like concealer and everything, this is gonna work a bit better, but it's very, very flawless. Like, it's not covering my scar so much. It's a little bit lighter. Like if I genuinely like the way this is sitting on my face, then I'd be happy to um, get a better shade if there is any. I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to like the, some of the L'Oreal products, the shade range isn't that great. Um, only like their true match maybe, but the reason why this is coming up a little bit darker is because the tone is a bit more on the pinky side. So I'm just gonna try and put some on my chest too. 
I mean, it's not covered my pigmentation. If anything, I feel like it's just accentuated it. It's because the shade, the tone of it is not okay. Maybe I could have like color corrected. Honestly, like this is sitting really nicely on my skin. It's just kind of like melted into my skin because I feel like the primer is just like help do that do you know what this is sitting really nicely i just wish i had a better shade which is fine i'm not going to judge on that because i know like the shade could have been a bit off but so far it's sitting really nicely and i actually really like the finish of it it's very skin like and it's melted into my skin really well and it's got pretty good coverage i mean i could build on this more but i'm just going to stop here the only thing is i would definitely color correct around my mouth area with this product the next product i'm going to be trying is the ordinary full coverage high coverage concealer i got the shade 2.1 y i'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand oh it's definitely light Oh, it's definitely full coverage. Do you know what? That ain't too bad. I can't say like it's not full coverage. Hmm, it's actually not, it's not too bad, but I'm not feeling amazed by it right now. Just before we move on to powder, I have the e.l.f. Putty Blush. This is in the shade Fiji. It's a very bright red shade. Again, I'm gonna take a kind of like compact face brush and I'm just gonna dip it into the blush just see how it applies on the back of my hand it's actually very subtle so I'm just gonna tap this on my cheeks wow wow this is so pretty guys it's blending so nicely, even though like I have powder foundation on. I don't know if it's the primer, but my it literally looks like I've got liquid foundation on. A bit on the nose. I'm going for a cute little look today. Very natural. Okay, I really like this. This is so beautiful and it blended like a dream, honestly. I thought it would be too bright, but it actually is perfect for my skin tone. Oh my god, I love it. I'm just gonna put a bit of bronzer. Especially on my neck. Do you know what? I'm really not mad at this line because you can really see like my skin color, like how it is, like truly how it is. It's really hard with lighting sometimes, and lighting is so pretty because it just it just makes your skin look flawless, right? But like sometimes, you know, we gotta keep it real and put some daylight in here. Let me know what you guys like. Do you prefer this lighting or do you prefer like my regular lighting? Maybe I can just mix it up, you know? I'm not too fussed about my eyeshadow because I really wanted to show you guys the Sky High Mascara by Maybelline. You guys know I love the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. It's like my go-to number one bomb ass mascara. Like it's so good, guys. When I was working, that was the only mascara I would mostly use every day. I did change here and there, but that's like my go-to, right? So I've been trying the Sky High one. I did a first impression on my TikTok, but I've been trying it and it's actually pretty good because it doesn't transfer here under my eyes at all. It really lifts and it just looks insane. I don't know which one I prefer now. And on my first impression, I thought, do you know what? It's not as good as the Lash Sensational, but do you know, after I've been using it a few times, it's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, I do always use the Lash Curler. So I'm just gonna put it straight on. Now, the first thing I didn't like about this was the flimsy brush. Like, I prefer more firm brush. Like, it, it kind of just, like, it's flimsy, basically. But once you get used to the brush, well, me, personally, it's actually a really, really nice mascara. It just gives so much length. I need powder. I was thinking, like, my face feels funny. That's because I didn't set my face with powder. Do you know what? The concealer's actually looking pretty good, but it's so dull outside. Oh, my God, the line's probably awful right now. Do you know what? The concealer's looking pretty good right now, but I can see some creasing going on already. I mean, it could be my fault because I didn't set it in time. I will just like tap on it a little bit afterwards when my mascara's dried down. Guys, look at the lift though of that mascara. Honestly, this mascara is really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. It's just like, 
so stunning it lifts so much too okay so now for the last and final product that we have for today is the nyx shine loud world shaper lip color and gloss duo oh my god this has been everywhere guys everywhere um i thought i'll go for a loud color i will put the shade in the info box <laughs> guys i'm not mad at my base uh, the doe for applicator is really bended wow that is very very bright very very bright it might even clash with my yellow it didn't do too bad at covering my pigmentation I don't know if it's like making my pigmentation a bit funny. I don't know if this color suits me, but it's pretty. I would wear this more with like a full glam where I've, you know, I've covered properly around my mouth. Whilst here's this, this whole look is natural and I've just gone boom with a bright lip. But let's put the gloss. <laughs> it's dry right now. Yeah, that, that stickiness has completely gone. It's actually really comfortable too. Wow. Let's do a quick test. The gloss is on my hand, but that is insane. I'm gonna blend the concealer a little bit. All right, guys, this is the final look. But yeah, like, I don't know. I really like this whole look. Everything's just blended really nicely together. The lip is so comfortable. But anyways, it's now 10.32 a.m. I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. And we'll see how everything holds up. But so far, I'm pretty pleased. I would definitely need to get a better shade in the L'Oreal. The concealer is actually... It's, I'm giving it like a 7 out of 10 right now. I would wear it but i just need to see how it wears throughout the day but right now it looks pretty good and it's sat on the foundation really well too blush 10 out of 10 i love it love the mascara you guys know and the lip i'm actually pretty impressed no wonder it's gone viral this marshmallow primer will definitely be something i, I see myself using every day because it feels nice it smells nice and everything just sat beautifully on my skin there's no dry patches or anything like that even though I'm wearing a L'Oreal powder foundation. It's so weird and I have really dry skin. So, so far, I think this has done a really good job. I'm gonna see how this wears throughout the day. I'll see you guys later on. All right guys, it's now 5.41 and I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. Um, I'm gonna just show you guys what my face looks like at after like a few hours. It's been a good majority of the day, I would say um i'm just dying to take this ponytail off i can't wear ponytails anymore like literally my my like my my head's throbbing just i had to put the light because obviously it's way dark outside i don't know about the color of this lip you know i don't know okay let's start with you know like the skin to be honest i'm actually pretty pretty happy with the way my skin looks like the blush is still there everything's still there um I've gotten a little bit, a little bit shiny, but I just like that it looks like skin. Like, look at that glow. I didn't even put a highlight today. Um, no smile lines. I just like how it looks really natural. Um, the foundation's worn really well. The primer, I feel like, has played a role. Even my nose looks quite good. No flakiness. Nothing has rubbed off around my mouth, which is so weird. Um, a little bit on the tip of my nose, but that's because I touch it so much and I was blowing my nose a lot. Um, but then yeah on the size it's still there and just like everything else looks intact so primer foundation blush and even the concealer I'm actually quite happy about like they've worn really well would they would I wear them again for sure guys you know I like the mascara like look there's literally no not even one ounce of like black there's not even one ounce of black markings under my eyes which i do get with a lot of uh mascaras because my lower lashes are quite long and they end up touching my under eye <laughs> and a lot of the times at the end of the day i have like these like black smudges but this literally nothing just like the lash sensational just like my huda beauty legit lashes mascara now 
when it comes to the lip, the lip, I'm not gonna say I'm a big fan. Reason being, I'm gonna put the brightness down a bit so I can really show you guys a close up, but there's cracks, there's cracks in the, the wrinkles on my lips which is ac accentuating the wrinkles <laughs> and then like where i have pigmentation like it's it's not covered it properly when the gloss was going away it was getting a, a bit uncomfortable so like throughout half half the day i put a bit of gloss just to add a bit of hydration but to wear the color on its own is a big no-no with the gloss it's very very comfortable i like that it's transfer proof but i just don't like the way the formula sits throughout the day on my lips it just doesn't look like one color it just looks all cracked and dry but it's not dry there's a gloss on top but you can see all the cracks it's so weird can you see like it's dark here and it's dark here that's like my lip pigmentation coming through which is so weird and then can you see those cracks I mean, that ain't pretty. I mean, has the lip product stayed on all day? For sure, like from far, like it just looks like I applied this lip on. But if you look from close, uh, honestly, the cracks is not appealing at all. Especially when I smile. <laughs> it's like the Sahara Desert, but glassy. The Sahara Desert, but quenched. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm the biggest fan. Like it's long wearing, yes, but I don't know. Like I also feel like maybe I should try this with a lip liner. I, I can't say I was amazed by the lip product. I like the concept. It's really pigmented. But you know, it, it wasn't I feel like the formula is so weird, like cracks and it kind of moved away from some parts of my lips. I don't know, but I on its without the gloss, it's way too tacky. So you definitely need the gloss on top. So I don't know, I don't know. I'll probably rate like a five out of ten. I'm not too too wild about it. Anyways, I had a lot of fun trying this stuff. I've been dying to try them, and I'm happy that I'm pleased with most of the stuff. I love the Elf blush. Oh my god, you guys need this Elf blush. Yeah, and I might get a new shade of the L'Oreal powder because do you know what? This one was a little bit more on the pinky side, even though right now it's worked. In some lightings, I could see like it's not my my it's not the right tone, so it kind of looked a bit off. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up to help your girl out. Subscribe to the channel to join the family, and let me know what other videos you would like me to see next, what other products you would like me to review, and yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.